Hey, welcome to Flowix. Today, we're going to talk about the rundown control for graphics. The rundown control allows you to create a rundown from your graphics package overlays. It also allows you to add, reorder, duplicate, and remove overlays on the fly. You can also create playlists to organize your overlays. And the best thing, without having to edit the original graphics package. Let's take a look. In the editor, go to Publish and click on Publish for Rundown Control. Bear in mind that if you choose the classic version, you cannot switch to the Rundown Control. In that case, if you want to use the Rundown version, then you need to duplicate your graphics package and publish it as Rundown Control. This is the playlist panel and the starting point of the Rundown Control app. Here you can create playlists to group your overlays. For example, we're going to create a playlist to group those elements that are going to be always on air. We can duplicate this playlist, rename it, and group the elements that we can edit during the show. Here, you will be adding the overlays that will be composing the selected list. Clicking the plus sign, you add the available overlays. These are the overlays that has been created in the editor. One of the key features of the rundown control is that you can duplicate the overlays. For example, you can create overlays that will work as templates in the editor. Then, in the rundown control, we can duplicate these templates as many times as we need. So what we're going to do now is that we're going to uh, delete some overlays. So select the overlay and just click on the delete icon and then confirm the action. Now that we have these three overlays, I just want to mention that an interesting thing that, that we have with this new rundown control is that uh, we, we can create overlays that work as templates in our editor. And then when we come back to the remote, we just need to duplicate these overlays. So what we're going to do now is editing the headline for the breaking news. We send it in. And on the other side, what we're going to do is edit the next overlay. And then we send it in. With the other template, we have to edit it also. And as the only thing that we're going to be changing is the headline on this template, what we're going to do is hitting on our keyboard, Control V to duplicate the overlay, and then we just replace the headline. Notice that all of these overlays are in the same region. So when you send an overlay in, the other goes automatically out. And also notice the status of the playlist. It changed the color to red when an overlay is in. Same rule here. Overlays in the same region, just, you just can have an active at the same time. Then in the quick control panel, you can trigger the overlays in or out. You can also assign in the region what is the overlay you want to control. And uh, hitting the keyboards, control plus a number, you can trigger the overlays through the quick control panel. 
then if we go to the overlays playlist hitting control enter you can trigger in or out the overlays we also have this take all out button that will take all the elements out of the screen in the global providers panel you will see listed all the global providers that you have created in the editor and then you can select each one of these providers to change their configurations then we have the workspace settings where you can show or hide the overlays preview you have the keyboard shortcuts and that is all thanks for watching